Okay guys, this morning I wanted to shoot a quick video and show you some of the symptoms and the causes of some of the issues with stepper motors. I see videos all the time, somebody posting something in the Facebook group saying, hey, my motor's doing this, what's, what's the cause? So I thought I'd shoot this short video and try to maybe clear some of that because most of the time it may be just something as simple as a bad connection. You have to have everything connected with a good solid connection to get good results with your stepper motors. So as you can see, I'm going to be focusing on this X uh, motor right here and you can see that it will turn both directions and I've got it spinning pretty fast. Uh, but I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to disconnect this yellow wire here on the driver which is the direction uh, signal that's going up to the board or to the uh, motion controller and then I want to show you what the uh, what the symptom of that is. Okay so you can see that I've got the yellow wire here that goes into the direction uh, and goes up here to the motion controller. I've got that disconnected and now I want to hit the arrow keys and show you what the symptoms of that bad connection is. Okay, and I'm not sure if you can see it with it going this fast, so let me come over here and turn on the uh, the virtual pendant here, and I'm going to slow it down. And now you can see that it's spinning this way, but when I change arrows, it still spins the same way. So even though the motor's moving smooth, I see this a lot where people will post a video and say, hey, it, you know, it's only moving one direction no matter which arrow I go. That's probably because you don't have a good connection here on your, uh, either at your driver or on your motion control board or your breakout board, wherever this is going to. Okay, now that I've got that wire connected back, let's reset the, uh, the reset button here and we'll try that again. So now when I hit this arrow, it moves that way and now when I hit the other arrow key, it's now spinning in both directions like it should. Okay, now I've got the blue wire which goes to the pole side of this and also goes up to the motion controller and or your breakout board depending on how your setup is. So let's see what happens when you have a bad connection on the pulse wire. You can hear it trying to click but obviously without any pulses the motor's not going to turn at all. So if you have it where it's in there but it's loose you may get some erratic movement but it's definitely not going to move at all if that wire is completely disconnected. And again, you need to check the connection here at the stepper driver and also on your motion control board uh, or your breakout board, however your system set up. Next, I'm going to show another common problem where if you have one of your wires here on this end of the driver either your A plus, A minus, your B plus, or B minus. One of these uh, wires go into the coil. Uh, if one of those are getting a bad connection, and I'll show you what the symptom of that is. Okay, here you can see that I have one of the, uh, the B minus wire completely removed from the connector here. So when I try to jog this at 10%, I'm going to do this slow so you can see the, you can see it just kind of moves erratically. It looks like it's trying to move both directions and it, this one doesn't sound that bad only because it's not connected to a machine. If it was connected to a machine, it would really uh, sound pretty rough. 
but I just wanted to uh, to show you that symptom. So let me cut that off and, and get that one connected back. Okay, I've got that wire connected back up and now you can see that it moves smoothly in both directions. And again, these four wires here are your coils. So that's what the other end of this wire is going to wherever you connect your stepper motor. So you could have a bad connection here at your driver or you could have a bad connection where your wires are going to the stepper motor. So you have to check both ends of the wire. Same thing is true over here. If you might have a loose connection here on this end of the stepper driver, or it could be up where your motion control card or uh, breakout board is. So always double check your connections. Make sure you've got them in there, even though they look like it, kind of tug on them and stuff, because sometimes you think you've got one in there and you pull a little bit and it pops out real easy. So you weren't really getting a good, good connection. And trust me, that will save you a lot of headaches down the road.